Hello, in this video, we will explore using some of the look commands along with some control commands. The look commands help you to control the visuals of the sprite like changing the background, costumes, size, etc. Let's use the first command in the palette which is say hello for 2 seconds. You can change the message and the number of seconds it will display on the screen. Now if you add it to your script, you will see your sprite displays the messages in a callout for the number of seconds you specify. Similarly, there is think command which works the same way, only difference is that, that the callout is different on the stage. If you try to use only say or think command which does not have seconds option, you will see that the callout remains on the screen and does not go away until you stop the script by the, st the stop button. Now you could make a story by adding another sprite and then copying the script of one sprite into another. To copy you can just drag the script on the other sprite and drop it there. Now when you click on the second sprite you will see it has the same script. Let's just modify the script to say hello to. Now when you click on the start button, you will see both the sprites displaying their messages. Now you want the second sprite to say the message after the first sprite has said hello. For this you can use a wait command from control block. You can have the second sprite wait till the first sprite finishes its statement and then say its message. As you see now, we have used wait to get them to speak in a sequence. Now let's learn how to animate our sprite. We animate our sprite by changing the costumes. If you click on the costumes tab, you will see different costumes of the sprite. If you try to change the image fast enough, it gives the effect of animation and that's what we will do in our script. In the looks, you will see a command next costume. This automatically picks up the next costume which is available for the sprite. Now we want this command to repeat continuously. For this we will pick a repeat or forever block from the control palette. These blocks repeat the commands you want to execute repeatedly. The difference between repeat and forever is that in repeat you can mention how many times we want the command to repeat and in forever the loop continues till the script is stopped. In our case we want the next costume to repeat forever, so we will put the command inside the forever loop. Now when you do the script, you see it's changing costumes really fast. You can slow this down by adding a wait command. By changing the amount of time you want to wait in between costumes, you can make your animation fast or slow. Now you can combine more commands like make it move along with animation or try go to or glide to a random position. In our next video, we will combine events with the look commands to obtain even better effects. If you liked our video, do press like and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.